So far, I've tested loss of scaling in competitive games, single player games, and just recently, I pushed LSFG to its limits. Well, in this video, I'm going a step further and testing LSFG specifically in an emulator. Now for this, I'm going to be using Sudachi, which is a completely original emulator and has no other application similar to it. I'm going to be testing two Switch games that I obtained legally, and you guys will see benchmarks of these games at 30 FPS, and then with their FPS doubled to 60 FPS. Now before we start, let's go over the settings being used. Now in Sudachi, I can play all of these Switch games at a solid 60 FPS, if of course a 60 FPS mod is made for it. But in my case, all Switch games I've tested run beautifully, meaning that I have to increase some settings to get unstable performance for this to work. In Sudachi, I'm using Vulkan with a resolution of 4x or 4320p or 8k and smaa anti-aliasing the rest of the settings can be found here but make sure to set your resolution to 1.5x for regular setups now in lossless scaling they've recently released a new update which adds adaptive frame generation which means that if your pc can't keep a solid 30 fps or solid 60 fps then lsfg will adapt to that and adjust the multiplier to reach your target fps in my case it became useful because at 8k resolution my system struggled to hold 30 fps but in the benchmarks let's just say the fps is being doubled other than that i'm using the great lsfg 3.0 and no upscaling now what you'll see in Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart 8 is that the games become internally slow when your FPS is anything under 60 FPS. Now I've seen many comments in threads and reddit claiming that people are getting more than playable performance at 30 FPS doubled using LSFG but in my case the game was just slow but frames wise it visually looked smooth compared to 30 FPS. Now if you need proof that LSFG is running look closely at the LSFG side and you can see the common warping in artifact but nonetheless if you try to focus on a specific railing on the LSFG side it's actually possible unlike the 30 FPS side. Again, as you see here, the game is still very slow and that's probably my fault, but again in this case, LSFG makes the game visually smoother and if you look closely, the text on the signs are far more readable than the 30 FPS side. If these games were simply faster or maybe even at its natural speed, this could actually be a cool way to play emulated games and again, if you look closely on the LSFG side, you can see the common warping and artifacting so it's indeed hard at work trying to create fake frames. So in conclusion this definitely works but it only works at making the game visually look less jittery and more smooth. The downside is that with the way emulators work they don't take too kindly to low FPS like PC and console games do. If you're getting anything under 60 FPS during emulation, everything becomes slower, which I'm pretty sure is because emulators are very FPS dependent or the games are FPS dependent, unlike console and PC games. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.